Yeah. All right, let's talk about leading. Because you've got you, you've got a lot of people in your organization. You mentioned it earlier. You've got that internal, you know, kind of, <laughs> you know, world headquarters for all things Damon John, and then of course all the subsidiaries and all those yeah. people. So a lot of employees. There's only so many people you can lead personally. You know, there's it's just. Yeah. I mean, I joke around about this at our leadership events. If you've got more than twelve direct reports, you're in trouble. Jesus had twelve disciples. Who do you think you That's are? Right. You know, that's right. So I'm just curious, how do you now at this stage in your career, what is your uh, direct leadership involvement like with other leaders in your companies? You know, I um, I, pro- I I talk to five five uh, heads of divisions, wow. and my president though, uh, he talks to them all. Right. Um, same five uh, as well as, uh, you know, that's it. That's about that's about all I'm speaking wow. to in my. Now, all, everybody can, I have an open door policy. Sure. Everybody can, can speak to me, but I really want, at the end of the day, I want it to come from the head of that division. Um, and I want to go through the head of that division. So it's, it's five. Yeah. How do you replace yourself? I mean, you're not leaving. You're still a young man, but how are you trying to replace yourself so that you're only doing the things that Damon could do and should do? Yeah, very true. And you know, it, it, it got actually more difficult than, you know, and we keep going to 30 to 50. You know, the Damon at 30 had those people and I didn't have to, I wasn't the person on camera, so I didn't have to physically show up at a speaking gig or I didn't have to do that. So it's getting even harder now to replace myself uh, than when it was earlier because a FUBU shirt didn't, Damon didn't need to say the FUBU <laughs> shirt. Right, 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 right. So today, you know, I, I try to replace myself with various different things. I, I We work with a company called Belay for a lot of virtual assistants. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we do that, they're an they're, 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 um, American-based company. Uh, the reason why is for two, two reasons. Number one, that helps me in not having to do this big uh, hiring of various amount of people. So it gives me more time to myself because I get on the phone, you know, with a virtual assistant that worked for a fortune 500 CEO for 30 years. And, you know, this person can do all the things that I need in this category of yeah. my business or my life. All right. Now I have, I, I, that's one less person that I have to have in the office, pay health insurance for and deal with all in more space, whatever the case is. So I've gotten a little bit of time back from that. Um, also, I have started to, because of social media, because of technology, uh, even when I speak in curriculums and things like that nature, I've started to do a lot of content such as you do so that, you know, I can not have, I don't have to be in 50 different places during the year, but I can give people the value of, of all that. So those are a couple of ways I'm replacing yeah, sure. myself. Um, and, uh, and, and still looking for, you know, looking, looking for great partners and investors, uh, investments that, you know, I, I, uh, I can invest in and the people are just smarter than me. You know, that's the best thing about Shark Tank is that I wish I could say I know it all, but I don't. Mm-hmm. So I'll bring somebody like a Bomba Sox will come on and I'll invest in Bomba Sox. We're doing 800,000 the first year I met him. And now they're going to do about 100, 120,000 and I'll make a nice return from that. And I didn't have to be there because the, the, the two partners are smarter than me. Yeah. You so just, to, yeah. Yeah, I try to look for other smarter people around me. Yeah, man, but by the way, you said one hundred twenty thousand. You meant one hundred twenty million, right? Eight hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's what's a couple of million? Before yeah. Yes, well, I, no, I knew what you meant. I knew what you yeah, meant. But yeah. I, the reason I ask you that because so Bomba sponsored my radio show for a year, and I yeah. went to New York, walked in their offices, and uh, they sent me a bunch of socks, and they're phenomenal socks. I just got to tell you that. They, it's an amazing company, and 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 you know what? The best thing about and this this is for everybody who who is listening and watching. You know, when you have something and you're doing something you absolutely love, the product will grow. You know, whenever I talk about the number, and I hate to say the number that they're doing, but I say it only because you can see the progression they've had from a little show called Shark Tank. But more importantly, the reason why they grow, and you know them, is they always talk about how many pairs of socks they've given away to help the That's homeless. Right and how they're doing straight B to C and how they're getting the data and the information on how they can help more and more people. Um, and then they, you'll turn around and you'll blink and this thing will scale to a massive amount. They've had five different offices since I met them. Yeah. You have them five different times. Think about how you're scaling there. That's right. Yeah. And it's, and it's socks folks. It's socks. Okay. Great. Yeah. So, socks. Everybody, yeah, so everybody right now, who's thinking that they need to uh, create a new uh, break for a bus or a valve <laughs> or a heart to become successful. That's right. Bombas of socks. That's right. 
Uh, Lori's really done well with the scrub daddy. That's it's right. a sponge. It looks like a face. That's exactly right. And one, of, and one of the largest companies in the world makes a bubbly brown sugary water that you just drank. Oh boy. Don't even get me started, which I had to go buy the new orange vanilla version of that. Uh, have me you, too. Have you had it? About it? Yeah. Delicious. My kids love it. I'm halfway. I'm on the fence. Uh, you know, I grew up in, well, I didn't grow up. I lived for almost 20 years in Georgia in the shadows. Uh, and I got to tell you, uh, the only thing I like flavored in my Coca-Cola is cherry. You feel me? Like uh, I'll do cherry, the orange vanilla. Eh, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a chance. I like it. I like it. All right. You and my kids. I love it.